Hey, what's up, guys? You boys, Pilot 2K7, and I'm back with a brand new Grand Theft Auto 5 episode. Today, we're gonna be playing as a firefighter with the Vinewood Hills Fire Department. We haven't used this pack in a while. I'm gonna actually use all the rest of the vehicles in future episodes as well. So, if you guys are looking for it for more fire and more EMS role play here in Grand Theft Auto 5, do me a favor: make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications as well. So, as you can see behind me, we have a rescue truck. We have a tanker, we have a chief vehicle, and then if we come over on this side, you guys also see we have our partner over here. She was driving crazy last episode. If you guys didn't see that, make sure you guys check that out. Um, we're going to be tasked with staffing the medics today, so we're going to be um, responding with Medic 191. They actually both are Medic 191, but I guess we could just say one is like A and B or something like that. So we're going to be using the Super Cab version, which is going to be this one over here. We have a little bit more space over there. We have a cool heavy-duty bumper, different light pattern as well. We also have side runners on it, so let me know what you guys think about that. Hopefully you guys do enjoy, and if you do, Dude, do me a favor go ahead and smash that like button guys let's go ahead and get this episode started over here you see we also have our ladder truck and our engine so we're running a full house here and the city uh, we pretty much have uh, multiple units assigned here that we can respond with but anyway like I said our task is running the uh, medics today running EMS so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off we already did our pre check so the trucks are ready to go. We're going to turn the lights off. And let's also let dispatch know we are 10 8 and available. We're going to be doing that by using agency callouts here. We're going to do control N. And we're going to set our agency to paramedic. And now we will be getting EMS calls. So that is how it's done. Also, all the mods I will be using will be linked down below in the video description if, in case you guys would like to download them. Um, the texture pack that we're using today is by Games and Chill. Huge shout outs to him. I'll link it down below. Hopefully, you guys already have a uh, Medic 4523 Fire and EMS pack. If you don't already have it, unfortunately, he took it off of LSPDFR.com. He's going to update and um, add them back to a new website called um, Modification Universe. So, I'll link that new website in the video description, but he has not uploaded the the model files yet so I don't know when he's gonna upload it but you could keep checking it from time to time and whenever he uploads it you will see so anyway partner you ready all right I'm ready to oh we got a report of a police officer injured okay that's gonna be our first call let's go back up the uh, police department let's go let's go all right lights are on there we go. First call, guys. So as you can see, this has a much different lighting pattern from the ambulance that we used last time, which is pretty cool. He's like right. Oh no no! I thought he was by the hospital. Okay, so the the injured officer is supposedly over here. Oh, we got an officer down actually. Okay, let's get another unit out here. I'm not sure what happened to this officer. You okay? All right, let's try to help this. Looks like I just see. Was that a sergeant badge? All right, police are on scene to help cover us while we work here. Are you okay, buddy? All right. Uh, fractured ribs and a collapsed lung. Okay, so we're just going to have to get them to the hospital as fast as possible. So we're going to go ahead and transport. Let's go, guys. All right, so police are on scene. They're going to figure out what exactly happened. We have the officer... Oh, he didn't get in. Sometimes they don't get in, so I'm gonna have to manually put him in. Okay, so we have him in. Let's go ahead and transport him. 
Okay, you guys can see him sitting back there. I wonder what happened. How did how did his lungs collapse? Maybe I don't know. Let's just get him to the hospital. So, so far he's he is in stable condition. Looks like he's gonna be okay. We're arriving at the hospital. And we are here. Right. So we're gonna take him in over on this side. Alright, he's gonna take him in. Alright guys, so first one has been rescued. Uh, we're currently at one patient safe. So we're going to go ahead and make our way back to the uh, station. And we'll see what else happens today. Oh shoot, a fire is going on guys. Alright, so we have a report of a fire. Let's go ahead and respond to the fire just in case there are any victims. Right by the firehouse. So. <laughs> Alright, the engine's on soon. They're having some trouble getting on scene. Let me try to help them. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's get to the fire. Looks like they just reported they have one fire victim. Alright, so engine 191 is going to go in take care of the fire. Okay, here's the fire victim here. Let's go ahead and try to treat her. Are you okay, ma'am? Okay, I'm going to get you to the hospital as fast. Alright, show me where you got pain at. Where were you burned? Okay, let's try to possibly wrap up her burn marks here. She's also having difficulty breathing as well. She has she has a, having a lot of smoke inhalation. So let's try to get her on some oxygen. Get her cleaned up a little bit. So we're gonna give her some oxygen for the smoke. Okay, that should help her out a little bit. Thanks. You're very welcome. So it looks like we have her stable now. Let's go ahead and transport her to the hospital. Come with me, ma'am, right this way. Yeah, let's get her into the ambulance. All right, she's in. Perfect, she got in up by herself this time. Hi right, partner, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, do a U-turn here. Just trying to make that car stop. Another ambulance is in the way. So we're gonna have to back in. Alright, we have one female. She has smoke inhalation problem, uh, fire burns as well. Okay, we're gonna get her out. Okay. 
she's out. And she's going to be transported in. Okay, you guys can see the regular ambulance with the uh, regular cab and how ours has that little extra space back there, which is pretty cool. We have in Westbinewood. All right, a mental health patient. Okay, so this one should be a pretty simple call. I think we're just transporting somebody. In oh no, maybe it's not. They still want us to respond code three. Okay. I wonder which hospital. I feel like we're going to take them to the downtown hospital for this one. Oh, we're picking them up from the hospital. Okay. I should have known since this is a transfer. I was thinking it's like a pick up from their home and take to the hospital, but not in emergency mode. Oh, there goes a guy right there. Okay, let's pick him up. Uh oh. <sighs> Sometimes they're not able to get in by themselves. Alright, so we'll, we'll put them in. Okay, we put them in. So this guy, we gotta be careful. Um, if his health goes down, he could die. So this is actually a very critical transport here. We gotta make sure we do not get in an accident or anything like that. Wait, we're taking them all the way to Sandy Shores? What? Okay, so we're we're gonna be heading out of our response area. Uh, why are we taking them to Sandy though? Sandy is like the smallest hospital. That's interesting. All right, three miles to go. So once we drop this guy off, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have a, a long journey back here, back to the city. He really just cut off a truck. Not the smartest thing to do. Alright, so we're getting off right here in Sandy Shores. Almost there. Uh, 
They're trying to dispatch us a call out here now. We or gotta go back to Vinewood, guys. Sorry. All right, you know what? We're gonna take it in. There's a report of a civilian shot, so we're the closest unit. Actually, we're gonna get in before police, so let's wait for police to go in first or a sheriff department. Alright, it looks like we have a Sheriff Tahoe responding. He's gonna go in that way, so we'll follow him in. Wanna make sure that they clear the scene first before we move in, just in case the shooter is still here. So we're gonna stand by over here and see what happens. Alright, we just, oh, excuse me, we just got the all clear. We're gonna go ahead and move in now. I guess the uh, Sandy Shores Fire and Rescue are out on the call right now. How the heck we're gonna get him out of up here? You okay, sir? I'm gonna get you some help, okay? Yeah, it looks like he has a gunshot wound. Single gunshot. Oh, it hit him in the face. Oh my. Alright, let's get him as get him to the hospital as soon as we can. Oh. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's uh nah, we're gonna have to do it ourselves. Alright, right, follow me, sir, follow me. How do we get out of here? I don't know how he's gonna get out of there. Let's go ahead and get him to the Sandy Shores Medical Center, and hopefully he'll be okay. I don't know, a gunshot wound to the face. It looks like it missed, it missed everything that was important at least, but his jaw is probably going to be messed up though. Yeah, we're all over. San Andreas today. I was not expecting to come out here to the county. Oh shoot. <laughs> Alright. So after this we're gonna head back to Vinewood. Alright, so we saved four people today. That is awesome. We've got on um picture perfect drive. Alright guys, we just got a report of a pedestrian hit by a vehicle. Let's go ahead and respond to that. Looks like it's gonna actually be right up here. Police are also responding to this scene. It looks like they possibly are stuck, so we may have to help the police out.
Oh no, they're not stuck, they're coming. Okay guys, so unfortunately the game crashed once we got on scene, or LSPDFR crashed actually. So I had to reload everything. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and still try to treat the patient, but since it crashed, that means our account is gonna get reset. So uh, we currently saved four people so far. If we're able to save this lady, this is gonna be number five. So let's see if we're able to help her out. Also my partner is stuck in the ambulance now since LSPDFR crashed. So. We're on our own, technically. Alright, let's see if we could get her to start breathing again. Come on. Come on, come back. Okay, we got it. Alright, so it seems like this black vehicle was uh, turning right through here. Hit this lady. Knocked her out. And uh, actually stopped her breathing as well. So the police is over there, they're talking to the other driver, they're going to see if she's going to be uh, charged or whatever, we're not sure exactly what happened, but that's going to be the uh, police officer's job to do. Alright. Okay, let's get her into our ambulance. I've stepped on tougher than you on my way to the top. You know what? I think. Oh my god, she's gonna knock me out, ma'am. Alright, we're gonna have to call a. Uh, let's just call. Oh, goodness. We'll call another you unit to come take her. No, I do not, ma'am. Just relax. I just saved you, okay? Oh, you know what? I forgot to go back on duty as a um, paramedic, too. Alright ma'am, right this way. We're gonna have her transported in the uh, other ambulance. Alright, so they're gonna go ahead and transport her. We're gonna head back to the station. Alright, so she was transported by the other medic. We're gonna go ahead and head back towards the station. Uh, respawn my partner. So we are good to go. Oh wait, we have a call? Oh shoot, I didn't even know we had a call. Alright, I think I think this is possibly a shots fired call actually. I saw it come up, but I didn't know I accepted it. Alright, so we actually have another call we're gonna be responding to. Probably help if we turn on our lights, our headlights. <laughs> Alright, I wasn't paying attention, so I'm not sure if police already cleared us in or not. I'm going to assume that they cleared us in already. Right, we actually have the sheriff department out here. Okay, it looks like we have a female. Got hit. Where did you get hit, ma'am? Go ahead and take a look at her. They just always leave us here. Okay, looks like she got it in her lower stomach on her left side there. Okay, let's go ahead and transfer her to the hospital right this way, ma'am, okay? Follow me right this way. Oh, I 
I wish there was more time in the day. She got in the uh, in the front. She's supposed to get in the back. Okay. Uh, my partner's probably going to throw her out of the vehicle. So, uh, alright. I'm going to have to leave my partner. I wonder if she'll get in on the back or something. Let's make her just right in the back. Okay. Alright, so she's riding in the back. Alright, so everybody could come. Alright, so let's drop this last one off at the hospital. She decides she wants to ride in the front. Wait, this is a dirt road that's taking us down? What the heck? Where is Okay, this must be a shortcut, guys. Okay, that's a little shortcut. I never saw that before, this road before. Oh, I forgot traffic is off. I wonder why it's been... I was like, where's all the cars at? guys so this is going to be our last drop off let's just go ahead and turn off the uh, EMS there Let's get her inside. <laughs> now my partner is in the driver's seat. Just Hopefully she don't drive away. Probably going to do some weights now. Oh, I wonder. Oh, okay, he's coming to get her now. Have some trust in me. Why would I lie to you? Possibly. Okay, maybe he's not. I think because I turned. Oh no, he is coming. He's okay. just walking uh, along. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and get her. That's gonna be, I believe, if I'm. Uh, counting correctly we have six people that we rescued today so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button if you want to see more fire rescue ems videos such as this definitely let me know by leaving comments in the comment section and again hitting the like button so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one peace